Good evening, I'm Brady Gallagher. Coming up in the newscast, I have more information on BearFest and an improv Broadway musical comes to Kutztown. And I'm Steve Majeri with an update on Kutztown softball and men's tennis road to the national championships. We also have Haley Bianca with Hollywood Minute and Emily Roman with your Kutztown weather forecast. News break begins now. BearFest has been underway since yesterday. If you missed Spy Boot Camp yesterday, there are still opportunities to take part in the activities. Tonight until 10, there is an I Spy and a Pudding Slide. Tomorrow from 11 to 4, join BearFest to give blood to the Miller Keystone Blood Drive. And then from 6 to 10, that same day, there is Casino Royale. On April 26th, race against racism, racism from 9-11 a.m. Then have fun at Operation Carnival to conclude BearFest 36 from 11 to 4. Everyone is welcome to attend. There is a new opportunity to see an improvised performance on campus. Tonight from 7.30 to 10, come out to the Schaefer Auditorium to see what the New York Times calls Broadway's next hit musical. Professional actors will gather hit songs from the audience and create a night of improvised music and humor. To order tickets, go to the website displayed below. In more performance news, Lizards by Megan Mostyn Brown is debuting tonight. Lizards is a play following a group of friends in their 20s helping each other leap into adulthood in a different world. As they summon courage to heal the past, confront their fears, and make the changes that they will hopefully lead to a better future. Professor Roxanne Ricks is directing that all KU student cast. It's $10 for KU students and $15 for adults. To order tickets, go to www.kutztownpresents.com. There's so many things going on tonight. I wish I could go to all of them. Yeah, well, I think that play is pretty good because I actually think an electronic media major is in that play. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Byron Copeland. We'll be right back after this. Kutztown University, the place you chose to spend your college days. Friendships began. Memories were made, and dreams achieved on graduation day. Time moves on, new faces come and go, but one thing remains, you can always come back home. For it being the end of April, it's been kind of chilly outside. It's a lovely winter we're having this yeah. spring. <laughs> Emily, is it going to get any better? Good evening, Kutztown, and I'm Emily with your local weather. And today we had another blistery day, but not as bad as yesterday because the sun out today really helped warm it up. And if you're going out tonight, make sure you bring a coat because it's going down to 36 degrees. Tomorrow, Make sure you don't forget your umbrella because it'll be raining all day with a high of 64 and then just a low of 45. Now let's check out our five day forecast. Saturday, showers in the late afternoon, but with a high of 67, it won't be too bad with the sun out most of the day and just a low of 38. Sunday, Monday are looking beautiful with highs in the 60s and just lows, um, a low of 37 on Sunday and then just a low of 43 on Monday. And Tuesday and Wednesday, don't forget that umbrella again with highs in the 50s but rain all day both days and just lows in the 40s at night. So that's our five-day forecast for you. Back to you guys at the desk. Thank you, Emily. There is always a chance to see a recital here on campus. Tonight, Sigma Alpha Iota is hosting their annual recital from 7.30 to 9.30 in the Georgian Room of Old Main. Everyone is welcome to attend the free event. 
It's getting down to the end of the school year and textbook buyback begins in the bookstore on April 28th. If you need a little extra cash, sell your textbooks back now. The Kutztown University Communications Club will be hosting their first annual Donate to Date auction Tuesday, May 6th at 6.30 p.m. in the McFarland Student Union Building, room 218. Bring all of your canned goods, old clothing, or books in order to receive vouchers to bid on your date. All donations will be going to local charities and all are welcome to attend. Now let's head over to Haley Bianco with our Hollywood Minute. Hollywood Minute, the movie we have all been waiting to see will finally be hitting theaters tomorrow. The other woman stars Cameron Diaz, Leslie Mann, and Kate Upton as they all go after the same man and how they try to get revenge. Earlier this week, Diaz opened up about her own life experience with cheating. She said, quote, we all know what betrayal feels like, end quote. Like Diaz, Upton has also publicly announced that she was cheated on. Both ladies definitely had some inspiration for the film. And speaking of Kate Upton, she recently said that she wasn't too happy with her body appearance in her bikini scene in The Other Woman. This was the cover model's first movie experience, and she said her bikini scene wasn't the best since it was filmed during her birthday week. That's right, even Kate Upton downed some shots for her 21st birthday. All right, that's all the Hollywood news I have for you. Now, back to the news desk. And a very happy birthday to Kate Upton. Isn't yeah, I can't believe she's 21. I would love for her to buy me a drink. Shouldn't it be you buying her a drink? That's sexism. Oh. I'm going to uh, move on to another topic. Coming up next in sports, we have an update on KU softball and men's tennis. Stay tuned. If you're anything like me, 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 you have some interest in communications. And electronic media is what it's all about. Whether you're interested in radio, television, video cameras, lighting, directing, screenwriting, or any type of editing at all, you know it's all some form of storytelling. Kutztown University does a great job making us understand the importance in that. Your first semester here, you're taking classes that are also workshops, and before you know it, you begin creating. The courses here get equipment in our hands right away and give us a realistic feel to what a profession would be like. You're shooting video, recording audio, and truly producing something of your own. Our professors provide us with all the tools necessary to become a professional. We have a fully equipped studio and a control room. Two Mac labs, multiple editing suites, P2 cameras, DSLRs, lighting and grip kits, and audio recording studios. It motivates us to really learn by making the education a fun experience. You work together with other students throughout the process and learn how to collaborate within a group, which is important. The industry demands working with others. In order to fulfill the major, the students have to complete an internship. Normally our last semester before graduation, the staff helps you line up an internship that requires a minimum of 30 hours a week. We're basically working a full-time job and in a realistic setting, working with professionals and learning the field firsthand. It's a networking opportunity as much as a job opportunity. Kutztown stands out a lot in that way. Not many other schools require such a thing and it's a great experience. The students carry and represent the school's name, and it's neat to become a part of such a good reputation. That reputation influences our job search. Employers know our school and know what we are capable of. So if you're thinking of where to spend your next four years of college, and you're thinking you're a little bit like me, and you're thinking you're a little bit like me, and you're thinking you're a little bit like me, and you're thinking you're a little bit like me, think about how worthwhile of an experience you want. Think about the Electronic Media Department at Kutztown University. Kutztown University. Kutztown University. Kutztown University. And now sports. The Kutztown University softball team split a two-game series with Georgian Court Univers University yesterday. The Golden Bears dropped the first game by a final of 3-2, but came back to win the nightcap by a final of 1-0. KU managed to send their seniors out the right way with the win on their last home game, as seniors Stephanie Curry, Jackie Hetzler, Morgan Booth, and Colleen Smith played their final game on North Campus Field. The first game was a pitching duel as both teams battled through the first five innings without yielding any runs. Georgian Court bro broke the scoreless inning with two runs in the sixth. Finding themselves down by two and down to their final strike, Stephanie Curry drove in two runs with a line drive towards center field to tie up the game at two apiece. In the extra inning, Georgian Court drove in the game-winning run thanks to the international tiebreaker rule to win by the skin of their teeth. The nightcap was another outstanding pitching contest. Dominique Ficara pitched a complete game shutout for the Golden Bears, which is her third shutout in her last four games. However, she did not get any run support until the sixth inning when freshman Marka Baller drove in Sienna Yance for the game-winning run. The Golden Bears will return to action tomorrow afternoon against Bloomsburg at 2.30 p.m. 
Now to men's tennis, where the Golden Bears got off to a slow start by dropping their first three doubles matches, but bounced back to sweep all six singles matches and ground out a 63 victory over the University of the Sciences yesterday. KU, who was ranked seventh in the NCAA Atlantic Regional Poll, found out before the match that they will compete for an at-large bid come playoff time. Rushion Men and Varun Dasal each earned wind at the single spots at the one and two spots. Matthew McGuire bounced back from an early loss to seven, down 75 and 6 to nothing wins at the three spot. The Golden Bears will now travel to, well actually, excuse me, they will now be waiting to hear from the NCAA committee to find out if they will compete in the national championships. The field will be announced on Tuesday, April 29th at 8 p.m. on NCAA.com. That's all for sports, and remember to log on to KUBears.com for all the latest in KU athletics. That's all we have for you tonight. We'll see you again next Tuesday. Be sure to check us out on Facebook and Twitter. For Brady, Emily, Haley, and the rest of the crew, good night. Good night.